Alright, welcome to YouTube. Today we are going to cover JSON serialization and deserialization. I have made this video in the past, but due to the audio problem, I got a lot of negative feedback. So I have decided to make this video again to make them happy. Alright, so <clears throat> first of all, what is serialization and deserialization? Serialization is something where you are converting your object into a stream of bytes. Alright, so that's serialization and you converting back the stream of bytes back to the object, that's the serialization. Alright, so what we are doing over here is, alright, <coughs> there's a website called as codeplex.com where you can find, uh, uh, you know, a JS the JSON library um, and you can check out this website anytime you like. Into the download section, you can see <coughs> it provides the download for the latest release. Alright, when I made this video, the release was 4.5, this is 5.0. So, we need to download this. Alright, so once the download completes, uh, what you can see is, one second, you will get something like this, and in this, you need to go into the bin, and whichever framework you're using, right now I'm using 3.5, so I'll be going into the 3.5, and I will collect these DLLs, and I'll put into my solution explorer right here. Then I'll do the add reference and add my Newtonsoft DLL. All right. So once the DLLs are added, I'm ready to go. So <clears throat> now we are talking about JSON serialization. Like I said, I have, uh, you know, a dummy, you know, DTO, the employee. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to convert this employee class into a JSON string. So as an example, if you check out my code behind what you can see is <coughs> okay let me open up alright so as you can see what I have is what I'm trying to do is I'm create I'm trying to create you know an employee object over here uh, with the necessary values once the employee object is created then I am using the JSON DLL alright the Newton's of DLL and I'm using a function called as the JSON convert dot serialize object now this method expects an object that object can be anything either it can be a normal uh, employee object or it can be a list right so I'm simply passing I'm filling this up and I'm passing this employee object right here so when I run this I should get my JSON string back so that's the JSON serialization right so let's run <coughs> and as you all can see this is a JSON string right as you can see it has a key value pair format ID is one name is jigsaw and his job is to killing and torturing people just by saying hey I'm just testing you alright so this is it and rest uh, ge getting generating JSON start and end is simply you know <coughs> the response dot right I have kept so I hope the serialization concept is clear. So using this DLL in one line of code, you can serialize your object into the JSON string, right? So this part is over. Now let's move on to the deserialized part. In the deserialized part, what I need is, <coughs> let me open this up. Control K U. Oh, I think I need to stop. Shift F5, Control K U. <coughs> so as you can see, what I'm trying to do here over here is look uh, I'm using the Newton soft again the JSON dot convert dot deserialize object now what this method require is a JSON string which we have already generated in here right I believe you have seen so this is the JSON string okay I am passing in here okay and in return this function will give me an object of type an employee alright so once I get the type of employee back in this then I'll check okay I'm not sure that you're returning the same employee so what I'm doing is after this guy gets filled I'm trying to print the values whatever I'm getting so ID name and the job right so let's run this thing again so this part was pretty much clear we have done the serialization right and during the deserialization we have passed this whole string to you know this method 
all right so this method got fill the object and we are simply trying to print the values into the browser which you can see the ID is one the name is jigsaw and the job is blah 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 all right so I hope uh, JSON serialization and deserialization is clear <coughs> but this is not the end the fun part is I mean like you know uh, JSON serialization and deserialization can also you know uh, <coughs> moves further like uh, this is just an employee if you want you can serialize the whole list of objects control K U alright as you can see I have commented, commented the above option I mean the above section so I'm gonna remove that delete okay so in order to get a better view you can see I have created a new list of an employee and I got like a bunch of employees what they do what they do and in the end as usual I'm trying to use a JSON convert function to serialize an object this is a serialized object it expects an object it can be a normal object or it can be a list it can be any complex type you can pass it into it alright in the end it will give you a JSON string back right and which I'm printing in here so let's run and let's check now don't be a little scary because the JSON data will be a little weird so as you can see I'm getting an array right here right so this is my first employee okay then the second guy then there's third and there is the fourth that's me alright so this is the JSON string I'm printing I have converted no I have done the JSON serialization now imagine this kind of scenario like you know you getting the JSON data from you know the different services like from the Twitter you get the JSON data or Facebook some sites you know which is providing you some data the useful data alright so <clears throat> now what happens is it's a list right so what you need to do is you need to show the list <clears throat> one second shift F5 control KU so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna deserialize in order to deserialize I need to do the same thing alright it uses the same function JSON convert dot deserialize object but you have to specify what you are getting in return from this I'm getting a list back of an employees because as you saw already this data is list of you know the JSON data and which I'm passing in here which you can see so I'm passing this whole array you know the JSON array okay JSON string I'm sorry in here in return it fills you know my employee object as a list as you can see uh, in the intelligence you can see it returns a list okay and the type is my employee okay and once this employee list is filled in order to prove that we have got the correct data I'm iterating through the list and trying to print the data so let's preview again and this time you can see when I deserialize and I loop through the system I get this data now the fun part is like instead of doing you know this manual work I don't want to do that let's control KC this guy is a list and I want to make a better presentation so what can I do is I have created a grid view control okay a simple one which has an ID grid view one I'm simply binding the data source as the list which I'm retrieving from the outside world and I'm simply binding it so if you look at now alright so you have a fantastic grid so in one line of code you can see a lot of things changes you can serialize the object you can deserialize the object you can serialize the list you can do a lot of things so this library is you know very much powerful and it may happen you know in if you're working on some project and uh, you know you trying to you know uh, expose your JSON data via service and someone else is trying to consume this data then it becomes you know if you try to write your own parser and try to do your own things it becomes very difficult in that case you know this guy helps all you need to do is you need to put the DLL into the right place and you need to call a right methods into the right place in order to get the things done 
right? So I hope this video gives you an idea how to do the serialization and deserialization and you know using the JSON.NET and um, you can also check out my you know the latest uploads I have the playlist for SSRS HTML MVC then I got like ASP.NET funny videos link WCF and grid view and jQuery tutorial so let me know how I'm, do how I'm doing and if you like this video or if this video helps you in some way please share this videos with your friends thank you for watching this good night and take care